All right, what's up? We're going to do the prompt engineering tutorial now. Uh, there's a couple things we need to know beforehand before we actually dive into the uh, the the words part. We have more words. Uh-oh. So where do I start? We're going to start here. Um, Autoencoder, Vey, don't care. Unit, don't care. Text encoder, this is what we care because we're going over prompts. Text encoder handles prompts, all right? So your prompt, right? It goes to the clip and the text encoder, which creates text embeddings, okay? And this, this does stuff with the UNet, the part that I said we don't care about, but now we care about because it's suddenly relevant. The UNet uh, does the denoising on this Gaussian noise, right, based on your seed, okay? And then that's, this basically just expl explains how it works. The part we care about right here, first part, tokenizer. What's tokenizer? Let's read. It's, all right, well, I don't care. So tokenizer converts these into numbers, all right? So instead of thinking of it in terms of English, uh, okay, how about this? You start with English, and then you need a translator who can speak the computer language that the uh, the unit understands, all right? So the it gets converted to numbers before, right? And the thing about numbers is that their order is very important. We're going to do a few generations with this prompt right here, and... I want I want you to pay attention to the the oranges ness of the image. It's going to have a very high oranges ness. I'm making that word up, but the the amount of orange in the image is very high. We're, we're, we're not even like we're barely getting apples. We're getting like a hybrid between apples and oranges, and like we're barely even getting banana. That one's yellow. But these are green. There's no bananas in there at all. I want bananas, I want apples, I want oranges, all at the same time, but it's not working, right? Let's check this out. So, remember, these are we're dealing with numbers right now. I mean, like, we're dealing with words, but he, this guy's on a completely different wavelength. He's dealing with number representations of these words. So, since we just changed the order of the numbers, bro, it's like this. You have this much in your bank account, or you have this much in your bank account. Which one? Which one would you rather have, huh? Which one? And the only difference is the position of the one in relation to the zeros. It's the exact same thing with your prompt. Remove this. Exact same thing. Check this out. We're going to change the order. Now look at the banananess of the image. There's much more banana, as you can see. So, first things first. Order of your prompt is extra is one of the most important things. The next most important thing is your seed, okay? Uh, the next most important thing is the CFG and whatever the heck you decide to type into here. Because um, remember, this shifts the point of reference in which this gets guided against or scored against, all right? So, uh, so yeah, recommendation number two, leave this blank. Because when you're trying to do, when you're trying to perform an analysis of how things affect a system, you want to limit the amount of variables that are influencing that system. So we don't really, there's no, the, how, how, how do they say on Reddit? Uh, quote, there is no theoretical basis for the principles of operation on why or how negative prompting even works. We are essentially calculating random trajectories within the latent space, which I find to be very sketchy. All right. So <laughs> that basically means we don't fully understand how this works. So if you're doing prompt engineering, you got to like treat this kind of separately from this and then not do anything with this until you know what this is doing and then you're able to predict what it's going to do and then it does what you think you're going to it, it does the prediction that's how you know that you got it good is when it is before you hit generate you're like all right i think it's going to do this and then it does what you want that's that's where you want to be and you want it to do that consistently and then and then when you get there you can start using this and then start putting stuff in there um so, okay, we've gone over, let's see, I think we've gone over prompt engineering, kind of. There's also one more one more very obvious aspect is, is you have to figure out like what the AI interprets your prompt as and it's best to do this separately for each prompt and like just find any common qualities and see if there's any other associations it might have when it's, when it's generating that specific thing. So it's generating bananas, now we know it can generate bananas. I have no idea what the heck that's supposed to be. Um... Those look like fingers, to be completely honest. Uh, so there's there's some funkiness. There's a little bit of funkiness going on right here. Uh, so so we can 
I don't know. It might just be an outlier, but you know, it's going to happen again. Some funkiness. So now we can expect like, okay, there's not, there's not 100% perfect coherence between my human understanding of the word banana and the unit's understanding of the vector embedding, which rep, which is uh, the result of all these processes stemming from the word banana, right? So, so yeah, now we can kind of like, if, if we do see some funkiness with that word, now we kind of understand like, okay, that's, that's like a statistical outlier because we're, we're getting a lot of, that's, that's kind of weird. We're getting a lot of good images that resemble bananas, right? So, so now we know this one works. So we're going to do apples now and then see if we can get any, uh, any strange stuff. Apples is usually a really good prompt. Um, we got apple bushes, even though apples grow on trees. I'm not sure if uh, that might be a problem at some point if you're trying to do, if you're trying to do something. Who knows? These look kind of weird on the side. This looks kind of, looks like someone uh, they got hit with a sharp object and now it's uh, molding. Very realistic. <laughs> Either that or more likely the stem placement is just, is not in the right place. And it's just like, oh, apples have this part on it let's put that here because like he doesn't really actually understand what apples are but i think for the most part they look really good so we can expect uh the apple prompt to be very good maybe some stems might be displaced that looks so good oh i would eat that all right uh let's try orange now and then ooh, ooh, ooh. okay so I, I completely forgot that orange is actually a color as well as a fruit. So now we know that my understanding of the word orange is not coherent with the the unit understanding of the word orange. So I think I would need to do orange fruit if I wanted pictures of an orange. Let's see. So both of these words combined now will give us orange fruit. Now we know. Now now we have more knowledge. And remember, this is different. It's different from doing this. Now we have shift our point of reference if you're going to start doing this. And it's completely different. That looks like a pumpkin. Uh, I'm for, Okay, I'm afraid that something bad is going to come up if I keep doing this. So I'm, not, I'm just going to leave that blank. All right, so now we know. Now we know how to do positive prompt engineering. You have to figure out what the word means. Or you have to figure out what the, the 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 machine learning understanding of the word is, all right? And then you have to figure out how that prompt will interact with other things you want in the image. Then you have to find the correct order in order to get the AI to have a relatively high consistency with the type of image you're trying to create. And then once you're able to do that, I think that is the point in which you want to start um, shifting the point of, of reference. Um, to kind of guide it away from certain things. However, you also have to figure out what the machine learning understanding of the, the prompt is if you're going to start doing that. So you kind of have to do the same process you use for positive prompt engineering that you use with negative. But you want to do it with this. Um, why? Because... So this is stuff... This is fucking autocorrect. So these things right here are very... I find it all the time on like certain models to say uh, put ugly low quality in your negative but um it's basically limiting off like we don't know what the latent understanding like that girl was not ugly at all she's not ugly either these girls are not ugly i like i i actually really like this art style um so i mean like the the brush it's very like artifacty whatever but um if you suddenly start typing these things into your negative you don't you, like you need to have a, an understanding of what these things are actually doing and then you, the takeaway from this is that okay if i if i type in this then i'm basically asking the ai to go away from from every everything every quality in this that we can get from from doing this it's so hard to explain so like maybe this configuration of eyes, maybe maybe the style of shading, maybe this color palette, uh, like like who knows? Like we don't actually like like I'm spotting a lot of consistencies like with 
uh, composition, like art style composition that re- like it really reminds me of like the, the like 80s, 70s, 90s style, um, which really is starting to make a lot of sense to me because I used to use these in my negative when I didn't actually understand how this worked. And something that I started to notice is all of my generations were starting to look exactly the same. Like they were devoid of any type of real art style. Um, and I was getting frustrated. I was getting really bored. And then now I know the reason why all of my stuff looked the same is because I was restricting the AI to explore other styles. Um, so yeah, that's, 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 that's kind of another subject. Uh, I said, I wouldn't talk about negative prompt anymore, but now you know if you do want to start if you want to start using negative prompts, this is how you go about engineering them. Is you figure out what the machine understands from that prompt, and then you can use it in there, and then it'll it'll guide itself away from that during the thing. So we're at eleven minutes. Uh, I think I've talked enough about this. If you have any questions, uh, put it in the comments. Uh, I'll try and point you in the right direction if I if I know things. Uh, but everything is pretty much experimental. You have to. You have to engineer your own things. You have to draw your own conclusions. You're not going to learn anything by asking. You, you, you're you only going to figure it out if you do it yourself. So, yep, hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Bye.